damn. That shot alone. Who you know who does it better than this? I'm the boy who doesn't get it. I'm on top of the list. Trying to get a good signal like a satellite dish. Every day to me. It's like a solar eclipse. Uh -oh. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Leandum Tim Kudis, South African Geek. Welcome to my channel. About to dive right into the second episode of Shadow and Bone. First episode was great. You know what I'm saying? A great pilot episode for noobs like myself who haven't read the, the book. Kind of really gave us an introduction in the sides. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was supposed to root for. Everybody you were not supposed to root for. And the mystery of the general. So let's not waste any more time. Like if you like my reaction, subscribe if you're not subscribed. And let's just dive right into the next episode. Oh, so the titles are different each episode? That's dope. The orphanage again. Hey, the racist kid is lying to the other kids. <laughs> Why do they keep running away from that woman? They were both injured together. Now they both safe together. So they didn't see her use her powers? What does that tattoo mean? Are they in love or something? She really loves windows. <laughs> so everybody knows who she is, essentially. There's no hiding. Ben, is that you? <laughs> Why are they all laughing? Quiet. Make certain. There's a test. Ooh, he's making it dark in the room. Damn. That shot alone. What does that mean? Now that she's the sun summoner. People gonna stop being racist. <laughs> oh, it's the other dude in his gang. Oh, that was such a slow hit. Dude always likes making people do the hard work then he just walks in and says some terrifying shit. Him and his ultimatums, man. Is he gonna get saved or something? Or he's gonna lie? They call each other villains? <laughs> he just got threatened. They have a history? What has happened? Signaling these guys? Are they gonna use her to remember the, the dark area? She your old map maker? Who's the conductor now? Damn! Oh, Zoya's back! Is this the brothel? Didn't she get bought or saved by that other dude? She's armed to the T. So she's a killer? This dude is filling himself. Taking her life. Did she make a like promise not to kill anymore? Yes, She's like a fucking ninja. The coat is bulletproof. What about the first army? All of them have been discriminated. Damn, so there's no more people trying to kill Grisha's? Why do I feel like that nice dude is gonna die? Let's see a display of fire and, and air bending. Ooh, arrow to the head. All my friends are dead. There it is. Air bending. God damn. Yo, they're really getting killed. Ooh. God damn, today like blood bend? Is that the nice guy? Yo, yeah, he's bulletproof, right? Like it's like a full blown ambush. Which? Is she gonna use her powers again? Damn. Yo. It's the general. That was cool. And they can't flap and stare. Yo. Yo. Damn, he really got severed. He's known as a darkling. Yo. Decapitation. So you're not allowed in another person's club? Now she's scared of him, the fuck? He's got scale, that's how he cut him. Only friends? Aren't they dead? <laughs> so they hid from the test. 
Grisha stand together. Never the generals around is so dramatic. <laughs> she has found her tribe. He's gonna steal a horse. God damn, there's really a disconnect with everybody in this world. So damn, the rules are dividing them. Damn, he's a quick shot, yo. This gun is even still smoking. He's looking for the conductor. You messed up. Damn, so he's the conductor. Yo, she hired your own girl to kill your way out? She has a sister? Oh, she has a brother. Yo, what if she's fucking Mel's sister? <laughs> Man, she's happy she doesn't have to kill him. She's just acting tough. Damn, look at that castle. So the darkness is called the fold. Noted. Why is she crying? Is she crying because she led her friends to their deaths? <laughs> she's scared of a bathtub? <laughs> Been there. <laughs> what is she looking for? She's looking for a weapon. Oh, did she cry because she's processing that everybody wants her dead now? He is legit stealing a horse. Probably Zoya's gonna join him. Listen to your friends. Play the long game. Is he gonna give him the deed to the bar? Are we gonna have like time jumps or something? Because the two week time jump in the first episode was like, what? This is symbolic, it was the first moment of the episode, they almost touch. Now they're so far from each other, but seeing each other, and they're trying to touch. They touched as kids. <laughs> so, that was episode 2 of Shadow and Bone. Elena really has a big destiny. The general was mad cool. I knew he was going to be mad cool with the cape flapping, We're naming him the Darkling. Cutting niggas up. <laughs> that was so cool. Um, uh, Mel and Elena, you know what I'm saying? That's the heart of the show. They romance is the heart of the show. Imagine being a normal girl, people being mad racist too. Now you got legit powers. You're destined for greatness. We also got, uh, what's his name? Kaz and the other girl, who I think is my sister, and the dude who was feeling himself the guns, man. They, they be storyline, trying to get to Elena also. Like, he's risking it all. He's risking his bar. He's risking his whole livelihood when he returns, or if he'll even return. If he doesn't return, she keeps the bar. I suppose that woman, and her strategy to make that woman she's she's basically selling killed the conductor yeah that was a hell of a strategy and she didn't want to kill that dude but she was acting tough man let's not waste any more time i'm really liking the show so i'm about to dive into the next episode tell me what you guys think in the comment section like if you like my reaction deuces